Today we're going to test the throttle position sensor, the TPS. Okay, TPS plug looks like this. It's going to be round with three wires. Your pin one is going to be a green wire with the black stripe. That is your ground. That's going to come from the ECU. This sensor requires a ground. If you do not have a ground, this will not work. Your pin number two is going to be a blue wire with a red stripe. That is your five volts from your ECU. Once again, it requires this five volts. Pin number three is a yellow wire with a black stripe. That is your signal out of the, out of the throttle position sensor back to the ECU. This, this is going to be a, a voltage reading back to ECU. The codes that correspond with this are going to be a P0122, P0123. If you're reading it off the dash, you're not going to, you may not have a letter or you may have an E instead of a P. Alright, let's get into testing this thing. First thing to do is to test this is to plug in a pin number two, pin number three with the ohm meter. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just turn your, your throttle and your ohm should change. As long as that is changing, that means that this potentiometer is working. Now, if this is on machine and you're testing your voltage, you can do that. Like I said, pin number two is going to be a five volts. And then pin number three should be your signal back to your ECU. And you see we've got 4.9 volts. Okay, if we turn this, which I don't know if I can do this. Okay, the 4.9 volts tells you that you are receiving a signal out of, out of your potentiometer back to your to your ECU. If you run into a deal where you test this sensor and everything is good, you need to check your wiring back to your ECU. 